Hello guys, this is just a really quick review of this Delta Sol here. I got it from Lowe's. Um, I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I like and don't like about it. Uh, just because I found one that really irks me right now. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fire it up just so you guys can hear it real quick. It's really rather quiet. It's loud enough that I can sit here and talk at normal pitch and be able to hear. So a couple of things I don't like. The tape measure on here is cheap and cheesy. Okay, You can see where it's torn up a little bit. The That I don't like, but that's survivable. I'll replace it with a metal one later. So that's, you know, ho-hum. It would be nice if they gave us a nice one, but, you know, what can you expect? The T-square here, when you break it loose, it wiggles back and forth without moving the back. Once you tighten it up, I've never had a problem with it being inaccurate. It's just a note, just so that people know about it. Um, my A couple of my actual, my major complaints is more... This plate, it's streamlined, it's really small, which is absolutely awesome. I love the plate, except for when you go to make your own plate to cover this, so that you can put a data sta dado stack. I've been doing data all day, I don't know why. When you wanna put a dado stack in here, you are stuck with buying a plate or using a really thin flimsy board. So this depth here, kind of sucks like they could have done it so many different ways and they did it so thin that you're almost stuck buying one from the store which is normally like 40 to 50 dollars somewhere in there the other thing is this guard being so close here when you go to remove a blade you are rubbing up against that uh shoot i talked about it earlier and i can't even remember what it's called now the arbor, there we go. The arbor is so close that your blade, I'm just gonna grab a, ah, my blades are tied, tied down right now. They are strapped down there, which is fine. Um, so, ow, that's sharp. Good thing it's not running, huh? And I know, don't put your fingers in there with it plugged in, aren't I a smart one? So the arbor there being so small also does not allow you to put a big dado stack in there. I bought what I thought was the best dado stack on the market with the dial two dado stack, which then you don't have to use shims, but it doesn't work on this Delta saw. So sent it back $216. I had to send back to Amazon. So my number one biggest gripe of this whole thing is right there that cord here's my problem if i want to turn the saw around and feed the other direction why would i want to do that i've got a big garage see this hose laying on the ground right now feeding is this way this hose i have to step over every time so i want to i want to take this and rotate it 180 by the way it pushes really nice the only problem is while you're pushing, the vibration actually causes the little feet to fall down a little bit sometimes. So you lose your adjustment for level. So sometimes you gotta crawl down there and, and readjust your, your little rubber feet. That's a minor detail, but just one of those details. So now I wanna feed this way. So I don't have to step over all that crap all the time. Okay, I'm just doing a minor, I'm just doing some two by fours over here. So it's nothing major. But I want to feed this way. I can't do it. I cannot do it. That plug, now look, I'm going over the top. It won't fit. Okay. Now it fits. But come on, who's going to do that? I mean, I guess I can go around this way. But that's janky, you know? That's a good word for today, janky. So, what the heck? Why make a cord so small? I can tell you why. Because it's like a dollar more to put an extra two feet on there. You know, like 50 cents a foot. So, they're saving $2, a dollar, $2. 
to make a cord that's actually long enough to use when you're in this position. Now, not everybody has the ability to move their shop around like I do. Some people are very, very restricted and their outlets are in specific locations that cord may not reach. It's not even really much longer than the actual saw. I mean, if you go behind it, that's what I did originally, because, I mean, who wants to put their cord in front of their machine? You go behind it. Look. Give me a freaking break. That's so stupid. I know, extension cord, but come on. It's a serious power equipment. Cost, the last time I seen it at Lowe's, I think it was $599, 600 bucks for this table saw. And they can't give you a longer cord? Oh my God, Delta, what the world? Oh my gosh, what in the world? There we go, PG. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, that's it. It's just quick down and dirty review of my table saw. I do love the table saw. I do wish it was bigger, especially this way, because you're. by the time you get done pushing anything through, it wants to fall on the ground, which, of course, I always hold it. I don't let it, or I've got my feed table there. But, I mean, yeah. Anyways, I wish it was bigger. It's pretty good size, but, you know, my number one gripe is the damn cord. Who knows? Maybe I'll pull it off and put my own cord on. Oh, wait, that breaks warranty. <laughs> well, Delta, thank you for making a good product. Keep it up. Just give us a longer cord. Maybe a deeper depth on there. Maybe the ability to put dados on here a little bit easier would be better. But the number one thing is a longer cord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen.